Hey, this is a tutorial for people who use a lot of batch files. Um, first of all, let me show you what we're gonna make. We're gonna make this right here, and what it's gonna do is whenever we open it, it's gonna move all the batch files into a specified folder. Alright, first thing we're going to do is, um, we're gonna open up uh, any folder, go to Tools, Folder Options, View, and make sure hide extensions for known file types is not checked. Alright. Then you're going to right click, go to new. Go all the way down and go to text document and name it whatever. I'll name it test.bat. And you should get this little window. Push yes. And then there you go. You run it. Nothing happens because there's nothing there. So what we're going to do, you would right click and go to edit. But I like using notepad too. It's free. You can download it. I'll put a link in the description. As always, we're gonna go add echo off. Off. Man. Off, my bad. Then move. Astrophis.bat. And that moves all of the all of the files on my desktop with the astrophis.bat. And actually if you take it off your desktop, then it won't work right. Because um it's only for your desktop. Then you're gonna go in quotations the name of the folder, which mine is bat. And that's it. We're gonna go save. Let's grab some batch files so I can show you it. Alright, where's test dot back? I gotta find where it went. Here it is. So we're just gonna run it. Now it went into that folder. Alright now but the bad part is where test.bat go it went in the folder too so in order to stop that we've got to turn it into an executable like this one so we're gonna get open up that to executable which i'll put a link in the description where you can download it it's free it's a good software a lot of people say it gives you viruses and it does not i haven't had any trouble with it so you're gonna go so it says batch file you're gonna go click on three dots and put your batch file if you want to make an icon like i use the one for my cell phone music manager thing you can just click that and go to whatever um make sure it's console application not a ghost application because a ghost application it would do the exact same thing but you wouldn't see it run and i like being able to see it run so i know it worked and just click compile Exit out of that, and right here we've got it right here. See if you open it up, that file, send it here. Um, I hope you guys like my tutorials. Please subscribe. My website is at the bottom of the of your screen. Hope you guys like my tutorials. Comment, whatever. See ya.